I, <laughs> I, I let everybody know that I'm actually not very impartial at all. Yeah, you're, but you're supposed to stay impartial. Uh, I don't know. Every good caster seems like he's he's pretty uh, biased towards one person or another. It's the unconscious bias that I have to be careful of, and I, I, I use viewer feedback as a result of that. Like, people will just, every now and then, people will just be like, God damn it, I've never seen a Wehrmacht player win, and I gotta look back and count and be like, Oh, look at that. I haven't had any Wehrmacht wins in a while. And then, then, then uh. that'll, like, that'll, you know, focus me for the next game. But I don't, I don't intentionally be biased, but. I do like to I do like to root now and then. Man, if you just want to see Vermont win, you just need to load up a map with a lot of choke points. There we go. <laughs> They're so campy. It's so imbo. Why don't you nerf Wehrmacht? No, oh, that's the fun of Wehrmacht, though, is the, the campiness of I it I love all. it. I love the asymmetry in Koho. It, or, sorry, I always say Koho in Company of Heroes. Ooh, we have more stick bombs. Oh, 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 oh look at that. stick bombs. Good reaction time, though. Well, okay, that time oh. it was a little, little bit less good, but... No, I was going to say, I, I like... Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, I was, just gonna, I was actually going to talk about this game we're watching. Yeah, there we go. That's a good idea. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, Norny's doing a great job of holding uh, the Tyranids off. They have barely had any chance to recap the map here. And look at that. He, he has control of every point except for the, the natural power point here in the left side rat. I like how he ran up his stick bombers and just kind of got them into melee for a little bit. Oh, and now he's just mass retreating. It's kind of interesting. What did I miss? Uh, oh, good uh, good use of Warp Vomit there, just to kind of hold back the Gene Stealers a little bit there. I love how Schrantz plays, too, because I, I feel like I get a little... I don't know. I feel like the only, going Double Warriors Gene Stealers is not something I usually see out of Tyranids, either. I usually see the ranged army instead. Yeah, a lot of Tyranids, like, that's... Uh, a lot of people are talking about the, the ranged Tyranids... Or, sorry, the, the Termagons with the, the Venom Brood. Uh, yeah, Termagant, Venom Brood, you know, double double Term Termagant, single Venom Brood, maybe double. It's definitely the easier build to use, but I, I, I still feel like if you if you really work your Hormagons hard with an Adrenal Gland Warrior and, like, mm -hmm. a, a Gene Stealer, like, if you really use those uh, carefully, you can get a heck of a lot of mileage out of them. Nice. Yeah, Gene Stealers is a, definitely a unit that I don't see used as often, and they seem pretty awesome. I do enjoy them. Uh, yeah, they're definitely the glass cannon of Tyranids. Like, if you use them properly, they will shred anything to pieces, including Terminators. But yep. if you if you don't quite use them properly, if they get disrupted for whatever reason, they're going to go down really fast. That's a classic matchup. Did you ever did you ever see or play the Space Hulk board game back for Warhammer way back? Yeah, when? Uh, yeah. No, it, was, it was very intentional for us to make sure that Gene Stealers could we're, kill. Terminators. We're good against Terminators. Sweet, sweet. That was that was good stuff. More battles happening up here in the north here. We can see uh, just some sluggas going going at it with the Hormagons once again. And sneaking these Termagons, and with that shotgun, he's going to do tons. Oh, tons nice. Of I didn't even see that gentleman over there. Yeah, I love the fact that the shotgun has that, like, passive knockback there. Good at keeping them at bay. Giving some nice alone time up here. And the poor Hormagons, I can see them skipping yeah. away. Oh, yeah, little those... guy, go. Oh, the little chicken no. gets gunned <laughs> down. Oh, good. sorry, buddy. Oh, oh his commander is taking a ton of damage, though, and he's not. Oh. Oh, he kills the knob! Or is that him? See. No, it was the knob. Sweet. Nearly killing the commando knob there. Man, and just fighting happening all over the map right now. I'm surprised that Schrantz is so aggressively getting back into this game there. He was beaten back into his base for quite a while there. Oh, but up north! Oh, God, the stick bombers! The stick bombers! Oh, wow. That was a lot. That's a, You can still see it on the ground there. Was a I wasn't quite paying there. attention, and I came back, and all I saw was a ton of plus fives. Just all a pile of fives. Yeah, that was what I saw. Dude, I was brutal. Good stick bombers. Oh, okay, here we go. On the retreat! The is on retreat path. They're gonna do so much damage. Oh, he's not re he's not refocusing them on the other Aww, squad. Yeah, he was still chasing the first squad there. Oh well, it looked like he picked off two. Oh, but he's gonna get these models. stick bombers maybe. Oh, poor stick bombers. Have you no shame? Oh no! Oh, not even paying attention. Oh, sorry, Schrantz fan. Well, they were retreating so fast that he may he probably only would have got maybe one model. Yeah, it's true. they they seem pretty healthy. They're healthy young lads there. Yeah, what a close match. Wow, he's got to tier three. norny has got to tier three. He's got knobs out. And the score is tied, by the way. Two, 290 to 290. I didn't even notice that. Oh, the looted tank on the way. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, Schrantz has actually lost quite a few units there. I guess he lost his whole Termagon squad and his Hormagon squad. Uh, yeah, that's about it, I think. Uh, Norny's way ahead here. Yeah, he's... Yeah, it's, um, the VPs are still really close. Looted tank out there in the field. Uh, excellent choice. There's not really a lot out there. I mean, yeah, Gene Steelers can peck away at him, but there's no... You know, Venom Brood or anything like that. Oh, great use of the Warp. I think the Warp Vomit plus Hand Grenade uh, combo is pretty sweet. Uh, hopefully we'll see some of that whenever they get back on the field there. They're showing up a little bit late, though. 
Yeah, definitely. And the Tyranids, uh, for having a lot less troops, are standing up really well here. Uh, there we go. Retrieve, Man, he's... Retrieve both gene sealers. Uh, that Barb Strangler just totally paying for itself, suppressing the entire Orc army. And all that's really left are these knobs. Those shooters have taken way too many casualties. Oh, he can't... Did he... Where is it? Oh, there's the looted tank. Okay, sweet. I was like, it's not building anymore. Of course, it's done. There it goes. Yeah. No, you, like you said, the looted tank's a great choice. There's no ranged uh, uh, anti-vehicle on the field, so it can pretty much just kite all day long, as long as you're really careful with it. Got some knobs on Gene Steel action here in the middle. Uh, everybody uh, slugging away. Pops frenzy there, but the Gene Steelers are just gonna just gonna leave. See ya. Looks like you picked off the model there. That's pretty cool. Uh, looted tank here is taking some shots at the invulnerable hive tyrant. Yeah, this seems to be always his style of play. Oh, I guess I, I discounted the crushing claws. That kind of helps him out a little bit. But uh, yeah, crushing claws, bonded exoskeleton. I think. Look at that hive time. tyrant just sitting there, capping with invincibility on. Man, doesn't get much less mannerful than that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Schrantz definitely like his play style seems to really embody the hive tyrant. He's like one of the one of the one of my favorite hive tyrant players. He just seems to use all the abilities well, and he just plays it like a tank, and it feels like a tank. Mm -hmm. So he has built that venom brood definitely there we go. to deal with this looted this looted tank. Yeah, venom brood, double warriors, double gene stealers. That is not an army card that I'm used to seeing. No, it's too bad that he lost his other Tyrmagon squad, though, because that would definitely help uh, as far as damage goes with this Venom Brood. Yeah, he definitely needs that ranged blob effect out there. Uh, no sign of Tier 3 yet, either. He definitely has the power for it, but uh, I don't know if he has the desire for any of that. He's got... He's got a... Uh, he's pretty close to Pop Cap, so his next purchase will probably be Tier 3. He's got tons of power for it. Pretty good-looking grenade chuck over there on the right-hand side, scaring away the uh, the infiltrated. I almost called them cloaked. The infiltrated gene stealers, and it looks like we have a nice little minor combat or medium-sized combat going up here. Barb Strangle is getting some suppression off. Uh, that looted tank, though, is kind of uncountered at the moment, or at least in the scope of this battle. I think I saw a stun bomb go off in the middle of all that too. Yep. Yeah, he's using he's using all this knockback in the orc army to definitely uh, crowd control those gene stealers and the warriors trying to get into melee. So they had to retreat prematurely, and it really kind of weakened the Tyranid army. I love these stick bombs. He's really he's got great positioning. His stick bombers are very like they're just very understated. They're like they're trying they're intentionally staying out of the fray. They're kind of staying back, and then they just kind of show up once the battle's begun and just hammer whatever the static positions are. Hmm. Uh, all right, so back and forth once again. It looks like uh, Norny is sort of back in control right now. Although, as you can see, Tyranid just has this uh, without number. <laughs> I, although that is, of course, actually an ability. But I was just going to say they are just without number in the sense that they just have this ability to just like fill up their uh, population, or sorry, fill up their army card out of nowhere again, like late game. Uh, we have a second looted tank on the battlefield, though. Although it is being met by a second venom brute. Oh, these gene stealers are trying to cap, but they're going to take a bunch of stick bombs in the face <laughs> oh man oh losing almost a, oh the only one one loss but man did he take a lot of damage there with the tank okay he's gonna let them go for the time being but yeah keep keep getting the ninja caps off in the back that's not bad i mean really the score has been kept uh ridiculously close this whole time as a result of it um just you know little little moves like that are always good you never know how how this long the northern part is so entrenched by the orcs that ninja capping is really his best option at this point Oh god, these sealers are going in, but they're not getting knocked over. And if they pop their ability, they're gonna do a ton of damage. Oh god, they're going for it. Uh, the tanks. Oh, there goes one shooter squad. Yeah. Wow. And he might get another one here too. No, he's gonna retreat early. Retreating early—that's definitely a smart thing. If you if you don't like losing your units on retreat, you should retreat with lots of health instead of trying waiting for the last second. <laughs> That's my, my tip to a lot of players out there. Yay! Retreat at full health. For oh, health. and these looted tanks are in bad position, but the stick bombs are going to push these uh, warriors away. Great use of stick bombs. I really am enjoying this. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't watch this replay earlier. I mean, not because... You know what I mean? It's just a fun replay. I've seen it out there for a while, but I've been meaning to cast it. It's a good game. Yeah. I feel like we're not doing justice to it with all these side tangents and missing of action, but... 
I'll just I'll just classify that as value added and ignore it. <laughs> oh, Co and games that some people may not care about. There we go. I don't you know. Should care about Co though. It's the Harlequin difference. You care about Relic. You should Random care about stories. Uh, I, all I need now is a mathematics lecture, and, and we'll be complete. <laughs> Did you know that I to the ith is a real number? It's not a magic. Sorry. Okay, anyhow, that's my random math tangent. Okay. No, I just didn't hear you because my game audio is a little too loud. <laughs> I said that I to the I power is a real number. Oh. It's fascinating because they're Did both Did you see magic. the, do you read XKCD? You must. Yes. Uh, yeah, he recently posted one, and uh, what was the joke? If, if the number is above eight, then you're not really doing math? <laughs> yes, that was, it was his own <laughs> version of the number line. Oh, God, I'm missing out on all sorts of awesome-looking grenade oh. spikes right there. Uh, the grenade's scaring away all of the Venom Brood uh, before they can get any damage done whatsoever on these uh, looted tanks. I don't usually see double looted tanks driving around doing this much damage either. This is a fantastic game. Double looted tanks doing uh, being backed up here by the stick bombers. The stick bombers are actually being used to just cover the weaknesses of the tank. Uh, he specifically went ahead and just focused down all of the Venom Brood, uh, yeah. tossed them to the side. Yeah, I mean, if you have trouble with things meleeing your tank or trying to engage with them, you know, throw some bombs on top and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but, like, Shantz has been behind for almost this whole game now, uh, and he's doing an amazing job keeping up the pressure and keeping up the decaps because the VPs are still almost tied, despite him losing, like, every team, or, sorry, every uh, major engagement. Yep. And he's, he keeps doing the manor uh, invulnerability cap there. Oh, now he's going to yeah. go and put some pressure. And is that a third oh. looted tank? It's a third looted tank on the field. Yeah, it is. We have an he's army of tanks. Get, he's got to get the second one out of here, or this high tyrant's going to kill it. Yeah, crushing claw style. He's going for it, man. He's doing a good job of backing up, though. He's backing up to all of his units up here. And yeah, he, yeah, he kept it alive. That was a good job by Norny. We still have we still have a single wounded slugger somewhere that can come up here and repair, hopefully. Here comes the the melee turn ends up on the top. No, he's gonna back away though, cause yeah. Three looted tanks, really? Three looted tanks. I guess if 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 two looted tanks are still pretty uncountered and they're doing a good job, three is better. I mean, if you really micro it and you get those boom, like those big shots off. Yep. I mean, there's really little the Tyranid can do. He's gonna spend so much time on the ground. So. Yeah, we actually see the Tyranid like army splitting up for once uh it's not a normal yeah. tactic he's trying to flank down here and trying to take out this tank oh but he's targeting he's targeting the list or not the listening post the power <laughs> uh 